This is how we can measure the partition compliance of the lung and chest wall with the help of esophageal pressure and a Hamilton ventilator. This is particularly useful to exclude low compliance of the chest wall when it's hard to ventilate the patient. In this screen, we have airway pressure, volume, esophageal pressure, and transpulmonary pressure. First, we need to perform an inspiratory hold and measure these numbers. Plateau of the airway pressure curve, 26, Plateau of the esophageal pressure, 11. Plateau of the transpulmonary pressure, 15, which is the difference between the two. And then volume during the inspiratory hold, of course. In this case, the patient is completely assisted, so esophageal pressure won't be expression of his inspiratory effort. Later, we need to perform an expiratory hold so that we can measure total PEEP on airy pressure, esophageal pressure, and transpulmonary pressure. So compliance of the respiratory system will be volume divided by plateau minus PEEP. Um, compliance of the chest will, will be the same but with esophageal pressure and compliance of the lung will be the same but with transpulmonary pressure.